Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang. I'm a math expert from St. Petersburg, Florida, and we are here to talk about how to divide exponents. What you need for this exercise are a pen or pencil, piece of paper, and a calculator if you would like to use it. Now, dividing exponents revolves around one very fundamental rule, so we'll go over a few examples on that rule very soon, as in now. Now, the one rule that we'll be using primarily is of this particular one, b to the m over b to the n is equal to b to the m minus n. What that means here is if you have two numbers, as in, but using the same base, that's the very critical part, if you have a base raised to a power divided by the base of another power, when you want to combine those exponents when you're dividing, you're actually subtracting them. So in other words, division of these is actually associated with subtraction. So hypothetically, if you want to use uh, this rule, if you have x to the seventh divided by x to the fourth, now remember if this was y to the fourth, you can't do it. The bases have to match, then you would do x to the seven minus four, which will be x to the third power. Now similarly, if you have x to the tenth over x to the eleventh, division there, again, making sure the bases match, you have x to the ten minus 11, which is going to be x to the negative 1 power. Now, if you already know the negative exponent rule, as you might imagine, if you have a negative exponent here, you can move it down to where it becomes a positive exponent, and that's an example of the negative exponent rule. So in a sense, we're kind of this example uses two rules at once, if you want your final answer in positive exponent form. And lastly, if you have something, let's just use something a little more quirky, if you have x to the 5.2 over x to the 3.1, decimals, but you still have the same idea. Go ahead and subtract the exponents. You have x to the 5.2 minus 3.1. So 5.2 minus 3.1 is going to give you 2.1. So what you have here as a result is x to the 2.1. So as you can tell, it's a pretty uh, straightforward rule to use as long as you're consistent about it and making sure that the bases match. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's how you divide exponents.